Well, hello, Mr. and Mrs. America, citizens of the free world and all the ships at sea. This is Tom the Bold Rascal again, and today I want to talk about show business. And um, the inspiration for this comes from actually many quarters. Uh, I'm often asked, you know, how did I get started? But I guess what really prompted this today to do this video is I recently participated, the, the local high school invited me to participate in what they call Career Day. And they had, you know, people in our town, whether they were policemen or plumbers or electricians or, you know, act, an actor like me, et cetera. And um, it was really amazing. I mean, these young kids, most of them were seniors, uh, really, really wanted to know about, you know, what do you do to pursue a career in show business? So I probably said some things that uh, uh, probably appalled their dramatic teacher because she's always encouraging them all to go to college. So I just thought I'd little, you know, talk a little bit about that. And then at the end of this, I want to give you a cautionary tale. There's a great number of ways to, the most important thing is you have to learn your craft. You have to learn how to be, you have to have the fundamentals of what it takes to be an actor. And you scene study, improvisation, voice, etc. Now, like I said, there's a number of ways to do this. One of them is to, of course, go to a college or university that has a very strong theater department. Um, the, one of the advantages of that, two advantages of that, are you, number one, uh, will be involved in probably, you know, full-fledged productions of, of different plays and musicals, etc. And number two, you're going to walk out of there with a, a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. Now, the downside to it is... Um, you you may not be able to afford college, or your parents not, may not be able to afford to send you. Uh, so therefore, you get into a situation to where, you know, you're going to one of these colleges and universities, and you're walking out that door after four years. And yes, you do have your your bachelor of fine arts, but you're also somewhere between twenty and, and forty thousand dollars in debt. You're twenty one, twenty two years old, and I don't personally I don't see that as a way for a young man or woman to. To start their life. If you can afford it, fine. Like I said, the, 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 the advantage is, yes, you, you have a degree, you know, so if show business doesn't work out, at least you have that sheepskin and you can move on. But there are other alternatives. One of them is to uh, uh, either go into like New York City, for example, and study at a place like the American Academy of Dramatic Arts or the Neighborhood Playhouse or uh, Herbert Burghoff Studios. Now, some of them offer degrees, courses, and some of them do not. Well, with Berghoffs, you could go there, you could take, you know, they'll evaluate you. And then you can t start taking different courses and, you know, learn as you're going along. And also work some kind of a job where you can pay your rent and, you know, you're not uh, going into huge debt. Another way to go is to study privately. And there's a lot of very, very excellent acting teachers, both in New York and Los Angeles. In New York City, you have Michael Howard, who is absolutely terrific. Again, it would be an interview process. They would, uh, you know, figure out where you are in terms of skill levels and then starting putting you through their process. You may go one or two nights a week, whatever. The great advantage of that is that eventually you're going to move up the ladder and you're going to be in classes with working actors who are going back to Michael, uh, Michael Howard, for example, to just kind of bone up, you know, sharpen things up a little bit. Like I said, these guys and gals will be working, and so you're going to have a little bit of the advantages of networking. You know, they're going to probably say, hey, you know, so-and-so at the Hudson Theater is casting some. You might be right for that. Call so-and-so. So you're going to make contacts. Um, there's a whole kind of cottage industry out there about show business and how to get into it. Is that A lot of it's really designed to, uh, you know, separate you from your wallet, you know. And this is the cautionary tale. I was teaching a uh, an acting class years ago, and I had one of my students, she was a nurse, and she was about, you know, 32 years old, and she came to me one day, she was all excited, and she said, uh, oh, I've got this invitation to participate in this seminar in Los Angeles at some big hotel downtown. And I said, wow, that's great, you know. And she said, yeah. She said, there's going to be all these agents that are going to be there. These managers are going to be there. There's photographers and makeup artists. And they're going to, you know, do your makeup and you can get your picture taken. And she's going on and on and on about this stuff. So she, uh, I guess I asked to see the list of, of who was participating in this. Now, the important thing is I had just left 
L.A. after having spent 10 years out there, right? And uh, I'm looking at this list of, of casting people. I never heard of any of these people. None. Nada. And I knew most of them. I mean, you, you know, you're out there and you're working. I mean, you know who's over at MGM. You know who's over at Paramount. You know who's over at 20th Century Fox. You know these people because you're seeing them, you know, once, twice a week, two, three times a month, whatever. Nobody that I recognize. Agents that were on the list, never heard of them, or they were what you would call bottom feeders. The tragedy of all this was, I, so I said, well, you're going to stay at this hotel? I said, God, they're putting you up, they're flying you out, you know, because you've been invited, right? No. She was paying, spending God knows how much on airfare, God knows how much on this hotel, which was in downtown Los Angeles, which immediately sort of set off alarm bells because downtown Los Angeles, there's no show business in downtown Los Angeles. If, if they were doing this at the Sheraton by Universal Studios, I could understand it. But, you know, so number one, they were isolated. It turns out that this girl must have spent somewhere in the neighborhood of, I don't know, five, six thousand dollars and got absolutely nothing out of it other than her ego stroked and people saying, oh yeah, you're great, you know, you're a natural, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, folks, it doesn't work that way. It's a long, hard journey and there's no shortcuts. I want to tell you one funny story, though, about college productions. When I was in college, <laughs> They, they would pick these plays. I, I don't know why. Anyway, they were going to do The Cherry Orchard, right? So there's a role in it. Uh, I believe the character's name is Fears, and he's the old servant. This guy's like 80 freaking years old, right? So you had all of these kids that were anywhere from 18 to 21 years old. They're all vying to play Fears. You know, I'm, I, and I'm thinking, well, this is ridiculous. I mean, okay, you, what are you, so what are you going to do? Oh, we're coming, master. You know, you're going to go all gray up and do this whole thing. My point is it has nothing to do with reality. You're going to put that on your resume. You're going to go to New York City. You're going to be sitting there with an agent or a casting person. They're not going to cast you as an 85-year-old servant in a Russian play. It's just not going to happen when you're 20 years old. I mean, it was like, forget it. you know. So I think I'm going to do a... Um, I think I'm going to do some more videos on uh, show business just to stick it to those goddamn charlatans out there. There's no... There's no quick fix to it, okay? Um, there's no shortcut. And this girl, what she did by going to Los Angeles, they're, they're acting like this is a shortcut. You know, you're, you're, you're going to be on a soap opera in two weeks. No, it doesn't happen that way. You've got to start out like everybody else. Nobody starts this business. And this is, think about this, this is true. No one starts in this business with an agent and a union card. Those things are earned. And don't let anyone else try to talk you in, into something different. It's, it, it, it's just not going to happen. And these people, like I said, I, I think I'm, I, yeah, I am. Because I'm getting, you know, as I'm talking about this, I'm getting a little pissed off, you know. I mean, I go down to the drama bookshop in New York City and all these books about how to get in the show business. And, I, and I'm looking, I, I thought, what the hell have these guys ever done? Nothing. They've never been before a camera. They've never been on a, on a, on a stage. I mean, I do have, in terms of myself, some credibility. Like I said in one of my videos you can look me up on imdb and uh you know you can see you know everything i've done and so you can make the decision like, oh this guy's full of shit or oh this guy's really done some stuff but i've been you know over 30 years as a professional actor like i said in mostly television and, mo and uh, motion pictures but uh yeah they've got me ticked man the more i think about it, the more ticked off i am and let's let's stick it to these bastards i'm not gonna let them separate you from your wallet so give me some feedback uh you got questions ask me Anyway, Tom the Bold Rascal, all goddamn fired up, man. Let's give it to these show business charlatans. I'm going to tell you stuff that will hold you in good stead if you really seriously have that passion in your heart and you want to be an actor. That's it. Okay, goodbye. Till the next time.